just on the back of the uh, <coughs> Flory wash then, just for lads, uh, Alan Stringer uh, and others obviously, you can see that I've put it on, it's that one mate, uh, black wash, I'm using a black wash for this just because it just needs highlighting, there are others, there's like dark dirt and all sorts, uh, but just to go back to this then, so you get some people on YouTube and they're saying glossy and this, that and the other and fair play, you've got to do that. Uh, but then a player an enamel thinner and one thing or another and it ends up stripping your gloss coat off and your paint off and all sorts of stuff. So, this is just to show you. So you can see now, there's still wet patches. So you can see that wet patch there and you can see that wet, wet patch there. But you can see across here though, mate, it's all dry. It's It just dries and you can see that it's gone into panel lines. I've just realised because I've just seen there, I've just missed this little bit of detail, so I'll get that in a bit. So down here you can see that I've already just rubbed it off. Uh, I'm doing this one-handed. So if you see that, right, whereas I'm spinning cotton bud, uh, it's a, just a very light application and I'm going to rub this off while I'm still looking through my phone uh, which is not easy but basically Alan it's just that now if you get like where there's just a little stubborn bit uh, I just pop my cotton bud in my mouth mate and just sort of like get a very light uh just a, a light lick so i've licked it now i've just i've turned cotton bud round it's really hard to do this actually but i'm spinning it you can see black back end it tip just sort of spinning at the same time like this and you can see a little gentle rub i'm not pressing on you can listen. Can you hear that? I am literally barely touching it now. <clears throat> full tub. I'm not saying that you'll use a full tub like, but uh, you, you do use a fair few. But I am basically just, that's it. That's all you need to do. Let me find a bit of a stubborn bit here. like that and then again if it's just a little bit too stubborn mwah, just put a little dabber dabber the old spit on there you don't need no thinners you don't need none of that you just need to just moisten it just in your mouth and i am looking through foam while i'm doing this and i'm just gently rubbing it off now the thing is as well, with white, I'm just going to spin that round. Can you see the streak in there on the white? I'm going to put my cotton bud in so that you can see it. So down here you can see that it's streaked down that way. And again, when I come back to this side, and again I'm doing it on camera. Like that. It's hard to see because you're seeing all this reflection here, I know, yeah. Because of, of my lights. Don't worry about streaking too much. We're not bothered about that just yet. What, what we're bothered about is the ease of remove. Oh, there, we just started to get a little bit. Look, that's it. And that's, I've done that. I tell you, I've done that. I've just moistened my cotton bud just on my tongue so you can see now and if I put can you see all that on back at cotton bud there so if I turn that round like that and if I want to get right in I've just got to angle my bud and push it in direction at flow like that for a bit of streaking and it is definitely showing on that white just get rid of that. It's like a chalky dust, Al. And then you, well, 
that streaking just doesn't look realistic so listen mwah, that's just gone straight back in and a very light you can see it look coming off like that and I'm spinning look at black on my cotton bud there just get that into focus you can see that I'm just spinning that off like that I've got a bit of stubborn there look I want to get that I want to get it off and just pulling that down and again so it is literally oh it just rubs off mate because it's like it's just like chalk like a, well it is it's a it's a clay based wash that's that's what it is that's why it comes off so easy and again if you get to like I, I haven't tried to push that off, but if that's too stubborn, I'm just going to change cotton buds, Al. Just a little listen. Mwah. Just pop that into there, and I've... Look at that. Just come straight off, mate. Spinning my cotton bud. Round. Like that. And you can see... And again, direction of airflow, obviously for for aircraft. And you can see like that now. You can see it streaking on that. <clears throat> but you can see that that bit there, that's just come up beautiful as. Oops, a daisy. This way, Marky Mark. And again, can you see that there? Look, and you think, ah, oh, no, that don't look right. Nah, little dab on. And it just wipes back off. That's it. When you when you get into uh, things that aren't, don't go over things that aren't aren't dry. So like that, it's not one hundred percent dry. If it's if it's not dry down here, and you start rubbing it, you're going to get streaks. That's fair enough. But where you don't want streaks, let it dry, and it'll just come off look like that. Not pressing on, just nice, nice and steady. And again, once you've got to a place and you think, look at that there, I'm trying to do it on camera. You see that there, look. I've just moistened it on my tongue. I've literally just dipped it in my mouth. That's all I've done. There, look. And I don't want to do that without I want to dry bit. So that's where that, I've just turned my cotton bud over. All right, lads. Like that. Come to end. And again, if it's too stubborn, a quick mwah, and you're sorted. Let me get in there like that, look. Okay. So that, that's the, that's the floury wash. Uh... I've tried I've tried other washes in the past with like thinners and you know thin a bit of this down, thin a bit of that down and all sorts of stuff and mwah, what I found is I end up always taking chuffing gloss off. Uh and then inevitably that leads to eating through into your paint. And when I first started weathering my kits I am not kidding the amount of kits that are ruined because I just could not get the wash right. Now, you have got to put this on top of a gloss coat. Uh, do not put it on top of a matte coat and don't put it on top of straight paint because e even though the I'm just wetting cotton bud and I'm not using a thinner, nah, if, if, you just, if you do it straight onto paint... Even though you, you've got, well, you've got bacteria in your mouth, haven't you? That that loves to eat through gloss as well, uh, through paint. Sorry, through paint. So you've just got to make sure. Look how easy that comes off. You've got to make sure that you've glossed before you apply this wash. And again, you can see little dark patch there. I'm just going to take it off in airflow like this. Like that. I'm looking at I'm looking at my job now. I'm not looking at my phone. Right. 
like that. If that's been any help to you, then great. Uh, I'm not teaching anybody how to suck eggs, but I just know that obviously we Alan, same where do you get it from? He's never used it before. Nah. Uh, so yeah, uh, not only have I told you where to get it online and PM models at Donny and you know model shows and stuff like that. Uh, it's about a five at a pot, and a pot will last you absolutely ages because you don't need to bathe it on you don't need to cover all this right and all this all this you don't need to cover all that because some people get like an emulsion sized brush and literally bathe it on you don't need to do that you you just need to pin it into your into your lines uh reason that i've sort of like gone over my lines here is because there's a million rivets uh on this particular bird so not only do I want to make sure that I get the line detail, I obviously want to make sure that I get all rivet detail as well. And again, just a quick, a quick white look. Slight chalk, slight chalk dust. And if you've got a bit stubborn, mwah, a quick wet, direction of airflow, keep turning your cotton bud over so that you've got clean like that into there get get rid of all your excess keep changing keep changing your bud right you don't have to use the same bud for an entire part right because all you are doing is dragging the dirt about that's that's what you're going to end up doing and it looks unrealistic okay so I'm going to leave it there, uh, this little video, 12 minutes long, Christ almighty. Just going to leave that there and I'm going to finish it off. Uh, and, uh, and there you go, now you know. Uh, cheers.